I'm going to show you how I turned this, this, and this into a functioning gauge display for your vehicle, all for under $30. Previously on my GitHub, you can see I've tried many different approaches to make a cheap dashboard available. This example uses an ESP32 and web sockets to go through essentially a website and display all your vehicle's information. This works but it's kind of slow and not everyone has a full web browser in the vehicle. So I decided to take another approach. This is where these little hobby displays come in. They're liquid crystal, can display a little bit of information, and most important of all, are easy to pin out and use from code. They can be bought cheaply from Amazon for only $9.99. And when paired with a little ESP32, that's also under $10 most of the time, you can receive results exactly the same as these more expensive style gauge clusters for a fraction of the price. Now, of course, the look isn't going to be the same as those three little gauge pods, but the options are endless. If you wanted to go with a full digital display, there's plenty of other options out there. You could even go with, with a circular display if you wanted to. When you think about vehicle sensors, you usually don't think about, ooh, let me tap into them and get a value from them, right? Almost all oil pressure sensors, coolant temperature sensors are single pin variable resistor sensors. Now, what does that mean? Essentially, all a sensor is is taking a voltage in and giving another voltage out. That sensor takes that voltage in, gives it a resistance value based on whatever the sensor's output is. Let's say, for example, you're at 20 degrees Celsius on your coolant temp. And at 20 degrees Celsius, your coolant temperature sensor will have 200 ohms of resistance. Now let's say you go up to operating temp at about, let's say, 90 degrees Celsius. Now that coolant temperature sensor could either have a thousand ohms of resistance or zero ohms of resistance. But in theory, all of them are the same as long as they're a single wire. Now that doesn't mean that we can't use triple wire digital sensors as well with the ESP32, something that takes a five volt reference, a ground and an input. In fact, I'm actually doing that already. But if you connect all that up and give it a bit of code, I'll leave a link to this in the description because you may want to edit this for yourself or just take a look at it, see what's going on. But at the end of the day, all it's doing is taking a voltage divider signal and putting it onto the screen of the ESP32. Throw in a bit of rudimentary SOLIDWORKS drawing just to mount it in the dash properly. And you've got yourself pretty much a gauge cluster. Thanks for taking the time to walk through this video and uh, leave any questions in the comments.